Hello folks, Bo Drew here. This is a very sped up two game tape of a modern match between uh, Blue White Gifts, Tron, and Epson Company. To the left and to the right, uh, accordingly. And uh, yeah, apologies for this kind of setup and production. So, so this looks like a very, very perfect hand for. For Epson Company. I actually think these are poor cyber games. I think we played main deck and it was uh, pretty good for me, I think. I think I just assembled fast combo, that was it. I think that's uh, just a uh, one of the poor cyber games. I think that's just a one game. But it's still like pretty interactive and uh, pretty interesting, I think. Blue White Tron to Camulligan here. My hand basically has everything lands of all mana birds, to speed things up, removal, etc. So you'll see. So he, he kept his hands uh, and uh, because it had lands and it had relic which is pretty good against me though in my version I have a backup plan with Archangel of Fern plus Spike Theater to go around Graveyard Heat. Turn to map is pretty spicy too because then he can assemble the Tron turn 3. That's kind of dangerous, but then again, he still needs uh, the big Trumpy spells to uh, follow it up with. Meanwhile, I just went Reserve Verge Ficket on the planes and uh, sped up a turn to fangs and turn two this way so yeah this is the bar clan fiesta special basically that's why it looks like it looks because it wasn't exactly planned um that day in that place to do things like that modern playtesting was Plant, but not archiving this in any form. So yeah, he went for uh, so he took the third trump piece, and because he didn't have anything important, therefore one mana he played a tapped colonnade. But uh, that basically meant he wouldn't be able to wreck my combi if I somehow had it there turn three right off the gate, so I went into Fortsis here with took out the gifts and uh, bashed with the things and took back the, uh, the Fortsis with the witness so I can try to do the same thing next turn I could have taken the land but I think I had enough of mana for the coming turns anyway yeah, and now for example, if he would have drawn another gift, uh, then if he would, let's say, like, would respond to the uh, to the thought says, I would be able to take whatever I actually uh, think is annoying. So he went on to playing the uh, trumpies and playing the uh, first for knowledge. I believe he has Tron here, yeah, because he cast the Azura Signets uh, and First for Knowledge in the same turn with that mana, with those lands I mean. I think it was pretty ballsy for him to actually play the Colonnade there, but I guess the odds of me going for the combo turn 3 right there are kinda slim. The point is that I could have gone through the combo because I had a fetch in the graveyard, so uh, Exiling one card wouldn't have been a problem for me. So thought ceased and uh, I saw nothing. So I just discarded a signet from him. And uh, he just has another land here. He's not totally out of this game, but he is in trouble. Because, okay, he has relic in play, but uh, I can just continue beat down. And if he breaks, then things are kind of ugly for him uh, but thanks to the signet he actually can defend a little bit with the colonnade and now with the better skull he can gain back some life 
So now I don't have good attacks, but this batter skull is not really threatening that much. Of course he can maybe next turn have enough mana to animate colonnade equip, but I'm not sure if that's actually an amazing play. So um yeah, because there were no fetches or shocklands on his side, um I would say that um he is still a pretty healthy life total despite few of my attacks. I think he's probably somewhere around like 10 life or something. Or maybe a bit more at this point. Because we were actually using the phone for, you know, this recording's my phone, so we couldn't have like life totals up. And it's pretty hard to find pretty uh, huge dice for the life totals. I can't find them at the local stores. like. Not, not the, uh, you know, something that I like. So for a moment I was thinking like, okay, I can Flint Hunter and target the Germ Token. Okay, then he can bounce the Batter's Call. If he wants, he would probably do that. Does that actually matter at all? I don't know what I was playing against. Perhaps I was trying to hedge against like Iona or something, but now I spoiled the Fin Hunter out of my hand. Um, yeah, so he would probably name White if he would actually get to reanimate Ayona or just straight out hard cast it or something somehow. So he's kind of flooding a little bit here, so yeah. First notch was not very effective. Okay, going to combat attacking with the jump token. Yeah, he gains some life. I take some damage, for to be exact, but that's not a huge deal. I think he's out of cards in hand, okay, he still has this Relic up. That's not a huge deal. So yeah, I definitely do like Four Seasons better than Scholars nowadays, now that I've tested more with Four, uh, four Seasons. Even though you make your company a bit worse, but... In critical matchups, for example, like this one, where uh, he could just, I don't know, um, let's say, uh, get Elish Norn and then Scholar dies and gets back the card. Uh, with Fatsi, it's, it's, it's a bit better, for example, and especially against Red Green Tron, too. So, cast and card calling here, I'm not sure exactly at what point in the game, possibly end of turn. He has a relic there that exiled some of my cards, but then, you know, with uh, two things I can play around one relic, for example, so it's not totally stopping me if I have gas going on. So I went for an offense, and now I went for a Seer, and now I went for a Maelstrom Pulse that I think was sitting in my ha starting hands. I mean, from the in, sitting in my hand from the start of the game. Now I was just waiting for the right moment. Okay, I think he had... No, he didn't have a card in hand. So he went to Relic in response, draw something. Okay, Maelstrom Pulse is gone, and then I just combo off, and he's like, yeah, I didn't draw anything. So yeah, this is uh, how Sideboard matters. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, uh, until the next sale, bye.